welcome to another Research Spotlight episode at Synthesis Workshop. Today we are joined by Hiroshige Ogawa, who will be highlighting his work in the Nakamura group about the short and scalable synthesis of pyrovobasine. Thank you very much for joining us, and we're excited to hear about your research. Thank you for the kind introduction. I'm excited to present the research on Synthesis Workshop today, and I will talk a little about the recently completed total synthesis of the natural product. Let me start by giving a short introduction to this natural product. It was isolated in 2022 from Voakanga Africana stem bark extracts, which can be seen in tropical Africa by Professor Mehdi A. Ebeniter. The paper was selected for a cover for organic and biomolecular chemistry. It reflects how great their work is. Next, the isolation and structural determination of pyrovobasine will be introduced briefly. From 2.3 kg of Voakanga Africana, 230 g of alkaloidic extract was obtained. Subsequently, through repetitive chromatographic separations following an MS2 guided phytochemical pipeline, 3.2 mg of brown amorphous solid was obtained. The structure of this compound was determined using small molecule accurate recognition technology via NMR analysis. This artificial intelligence based tool generates structure hypotheses using a deep convolutional neural network architecture incorporating HSQC spectra related to more than 53,000 natural products. Pyrovobasine is a pseudodimer monoterpene and dole alkaloid composed of three key fragments. Specifically, the green tryptamine unit, which possesses the blue pyrrolin structure, is attached to the black vobacinol core. Pyrovobasine is the first pyrrolin containing member in the huge phytochemical class of monoterpene and dole alkaloids. After the elimination of the hydroxy group from vobacinol, the C2 position of a tryptamine derivative nucleic attacked an activated vobacinol core, forming pyrovobacine. It is well known that sugar derivatives, such as hexoses, react with the amine residues of amino acids and proteins through Maillard-type reactions. The tryptamine derivative is believed to be generated via enzymatic decarboxylation of L-tryptophan, followed by a reaction of the amino group with hexose in a Maillard-type process. Based on the biosynthetic pathway described above, our plan is to incorporate tryptamine and pyrrolin skeletons at the final stages of the synthesis. And we suppose that the pyrrolin unit can be constructed via a Millard-type reaction. In 2000, Cook and colleagues reported the total synthesis of velocimine, which harbors a vobacinol core. Several chemical transformations, including a Dieckmann condensation, obtained a tetracyclic ketone from D-tryptophan methyl ester. Next, introducing vinyl iodide to the ketone, followed by a hectype reaction catalyzed by palladium diacetate, obtained a pentacyclic compound with the vobacinol scaffold in a single stereoisomer. Finally, ketone was converted to a formal group, and the asymmetric total synthesis of velocimine was achieved. This report represents the first stereoselective asymmetric total synthesis of a vobacinol scaffold, demonstrating an elegant synthetic approach. However, for the gram-scale total synthesis of pyrovobacine, the development of strategies that do not rely on precious metals like palladium is essential. Additionally, constructing the vobacinol scaffold in the early stage is necessary. Here is the outline of this total synthesis. We aimed for the gram-scale synthesis of pyrovobacine, and almost all of the CC bonds of the vobacinol were constructed in the early stage. At this stage, a strategy that does not rely on rare metals was employed. This strategy could prepare the pentacyclic ketone of more than 100 gram. Following the proposed biosynthetic pathway, the pyrrolin structure and the tryptamine unit were introduced at the late stage, and 1.06 gram of pyrovobasine was prepared. Based on the prior studies in biosynthetic pathway, our ultimate retrosynthetic analysis is shown here. The iconic pyrrolin structure can be constructed via a Millard-type reaction in the final stages of synthesis. The tryptamine unit can be introduced through nucleophilic addition to the vobacinol core. We speculated that the regioselectivity of the tryptamine derivative would be C2-selective on the basis of its electron density. As for the pentacyclic ketone, we plan to construct by a radical annulation with an alkyne. The tetracyclic ketone was planned to be constructed from D-tryptophan methyl ester via Pictet-Spengler reaction and Dieckmann condensation.
Our gram-scale total synthesis of pyrovobacine was started with D-tryptophan methyl ester. The primary amine was propargylated by reaction with propargyl bromide. The resulting compound was then reacted with alpha-ketoglutaric acid to afford the cyclized compound in 49% yield. The isomer was separated by column chromatography, and the stereochemistry was determined by X-ray. The tetracyclic compound was successfully converted into a 1,3-dicarbonyl compound via Dieckmann condensation in 88% yield. So far, D-tryptophan was transformed into the 1,3-dicarbonyl compound in only three steps, without using any protection group. By this sequence, we could prepare more than 40 gram of the 1,3-dicarbonyl compound. Subsequent decarboxylation followed by BOC protection gave a tetracyclic ketone in 56% yield. In the Dieckmann condensation, a cis-fused product was obtained as a sole product. Firstly, the lactam on the indole ring reacted with alkoxide, and the lactam was opened. Subsequently, the highly acidic alpha proton of the ester is abstracted, leading to the epimerization of the ester. Next, intramolecular aldol reaction underwent and gave the hemiacetal. E1CB elimination underwent and gave the desired cis-fused compound. Enolate formation seems to be irreversible and promotes the completion of the reaction. Next, we embarked on the construction of olefins and the synthesis of the vobacinol core. In 2000, Cook and co-workers reported a construction of the vobacinol scaffold using palladium catalysts. However, aiming for the gram-scale synthesis of pyrovobacine, the development of a more efficient and practical synthetic method is essential. Initially, following Cook's report, we attempted intramolecular coupling reactions catalyzed by various metal catalysts, such as nickel and iron, using vinyl bromide as the substrate. However, the desired cyclized product formation could not be confirmed under all conditions. In 2022, Julian and co-workers reported a CC bond-forming reaction using manganese diacetate. When a ketone is treated with manganese diacetate, the resulting manganese enolate is oxidized, giving a radical at the alpha position of the ketone. Subsequently, the radical undergoes radical addition to an alkyne, yielding an alkene. We speculated that this reaction was applicable to the construction of a vobacinol scaffold. We tried to apply this reaction to the synthesized tetracyclic ketone. The desired CC bond forming reaction proceeded at room temperature resulting in a cyclized compound with a yield of 49% and an easy ratio of 1 to 1. These isomers could be separated using column chromatography, and an E-isomer was used for the subsequent steps. Additionally, the Z-isomer could be also utilized in the synthesis of natural products harboring a Z-olefin, such as sparpogen and humantanine derivatives. We successfully achieved the formal synthesis of comidine using the Z-olefin isomer. Removing the protecting group using TFA gave the known intermediate. This efficient and scalable synthetic approach establishes a key intermediate that enables the development of various natural product syntheses harboring the vobacinol skeleton. Methyl ester was introduced to the synthesized pentacyclic ketone. After converting the pentacyclic ketone to an enol ether via the Wittig reaction, treatment with TFA gave an aldehyde. The aldehyde was subsequently transformed into a methyl ester using iodine and potassium hydroxide. However, the obtained methyl ester exhibited thermodynamically stable stereochemistry opposite to that of the structure of pyrovobacine. We found that another synthetic challenge for the total synthesis of pyrovobacine is the epimerization of the thermodynamically stable methyl ester to the kinetic product methyl ester. We first tried to epimerize using various kinds of base, but the desired kinetic product methyl ester was not observed under any of the conditions. Then, we started to focus on the radical-based approach. First, we introduce a redox active functional group to the ester. When the introduced activating group undergoes XAT, a radical is generated at the alpha position of the ester. We hypothesized that under low temperature, this radical species would preferentially precede hydrogen atom transfer from more vacant phase and gave the kinetic product. According to this working hypothesis, we tried to apply iridium-catalyzed photoisomerization. Methyl ester was treated with LDA and iodine to give the iodinated product. Under UV irradiation, 
the iodinated ester was treated with an iridium catalyst. Iridium catalyst mediated the halogen atom transfer and gave a carbon radical. Under low temperature conditions at minus 50 degrees Celsius, this carbon radical reacts with HMDS to undergo hydrogen atom abstraction from the more vacant face of the molecule, favoring the formation of kinetically favored products. Notably, this reaction is applicable even at a multigram scale, as demonstrated in the photograph. This method is a practical method to construct a kinetic ester. The introduction of the tryptamine derivative with the pyrrolin structure to the vobacinol core is the last challenge to complete this total synthesis. Because of the possible instability of the pyrrolin scaffold, we plan to introduce the pyrrolin moiety step by step after the introduction of protected tryptamine. Initially, we attempted the activation of tertiary amines using various electrophiles such as iodomethane and troxiel, followed by the introduction of tryptamine. However, under all conditions, no desired compound was observed. Then, we started to focus on skeletal transformations using carbon-S. Carbon-S have a long history and are known for various reactions, including cyclopropanation of olefins in addition to ketones. Defluorocarbene exhibits electron-deficient nature compared to regular carbon-S because of the two fluorine atoms. Leveraging its electronic properties, Hahn and co-workers reported a reaction involving the activation of tertiary amines and subsequent CN bond cleavage and nucleophilic addition. Difluorocarbene reacts with an amine and forms an ammonium salt. Subsequently, a nucleophilic species attacks to the activated nitrogen atom's alpha position, resulting in a CN bond cleavage and gave the desired nucleophilic adducts. This reaction demonstrates high functional group tolerance. Han and co-workers applied this reaction to a pentacyclic amine derived from catharanthin and synthesized multiple family natural products. When the condition using bromotrifluoromethyl trimethylsilane was applied to pentacyclic amine, the tertiary amine reacted with difluorocarbene and formed a tetrafluoroborate ammonium salt. Noteworthy, this intermediate was able to be detected by the LCMS, and it can even be isolated by filtration. The crude reaction mixture was acidified with hydrogen chloride to cleave the CN bond, and a tryptamine unit was added to give the desired tryptamine adduct. The obtained tryptamine adduct was successfully subjected to N-methylation by reductive amination to give Millard reaction precursor with 17% yield in 5 steps. Finally, the precursor was deprotected with zinc to afford a primary amine and then reacted with pyranone derivative and acetic acid at 50 degrees Celsius to complete the total synthesis of 1.06 grams of pyrovobacine. By this strategy, more than 1 gram of pyrovobacine was obtained. This gram-scale total synthesis was enabled by user-friendly reactions and strategies. In the early stage, we focused on the short steps and scalable synthesis of the bobacinol core without using rare metals such as palladium. In the late stage, we developed an efficient bio-inspired method for introducing tryptamine, which has a pyrrolin structure that is relatively rare in natural products and achieved the first total synthesis in gram-scale supply of pyrovobacine. This methodology is anticipated to be useful for future SAR study. Thank you for your interesting talk and thanks to our listeners for tuning in to this episode. We hope to see you again next time on Synthesis Workshop. 